Right, here is a site, a website I found, it's called Bracket Cloud and it does have a premium service although you wouldn't know that it does up here because usually when you go to these sites it will have a pricing option but there is a premium option which I haven't looked into and I actually only discovered it by accident but that's not why we're here. Uh, this is an option and an idea that I've had having discovered this site. Um, I've registered my name on it. Um, it provides a tournament bracket option and it also provides uh, round robin which is something that we had in Virtual Pool 3 for a short while. Um, it was done in an external site um, and of course back in the day in Virtual Pool 3 we didn't have an official um, tournament uh, system. We had an external tournament system which was written by a guy that played Virtual Pool 3 uh, but now since uh, Steve Chaplin has obviously taken back the reins of Virtual Pool he then of course developed the game uh, in Virtual Pool 4 and also designed his own tournament system. The tournament system is there, it provides tournaments, um, there are options for ladders, um, there was a proposed option for leagues but that has never happened. But uh, the other option that you do have and can be used is round robin. Now for anybody that doesn't know what round robin is, let's say there are there are ten guys want to play uh, in the round lo in the round robin. Uh, I'll say that again: the round robin tournament. Uh, each player will play each other once uh, in the tournament. If you want, you can actually make it twice, but that would be too long. Um, but you can play each other once, and then of course uh, you have to devise a scoring system. So, for example, um, three points for a win and uh, one point for a draw and no points for a loss. Now, when I say draw, um, there's really no such thing as a draw in a pool or in virtual pool four, but you can sort of fix it for there to be a draw. Now, I've already done a tournament and uh, as a test, and I'm going to show you how things are laid out on this. It takes a little while to load this for some reason, this website. Um, but I have clicked go to dashboard. I hope I have. Let's have a look. Now there are of course pros and cons um, when trying to um, give players choice and uh, get players to understand how something works. This being one of them. Right, we've finally loaded up. Um, now if you look here, you'll see that other people have been using this for tournaments. And it shows you um, how far your tournament is progressing. Well anyway, I created this a couple of days ago and I went through each individual match inputting fake scores just to actually see how it looked when it was finished. So this automatically named my tournament as my first tournament. So let's click on it and we'll look down here. Now what I've done, uh, in order for round robin to work, you have to have the possibility of a draw. So what I've, what settings that I set here uh, in the information panel, if I read it out, it says round robin tourney, you play each other once only. Each match is played over six racks, and it's not a race to six. Uh, it's played over six racks uh, to allow for a draw. So you get three points for a win and one point for a draw. Each match must be played as a wager. Now the reason I say that is that um, the incentive for each player to play in this round robin is that they're they're playing for a bet, they're playing for a gamble um, and at some point during the night they're bound to get something out of the tournament. Um, that way uh, wager V dollars is changing hands throughout the night so obviously the player 
who finishes in top and lo and behold there's a guy called Hugh has finished in top uh, his alter ego 9ball.com's finished third but uh, to cut a long story short on that this shows you that out of all these 12 uh, players uh, Hugh played 11 matches he won 6 he drew 2 and he lost 3 uh, he got 44 racks for 22 against and he ended up in 21 points so he's the winner of the tournament that night he came out on top and uh, in all of those matches that he played and all these other guys when they set up the match they set it as a wager for 50 V dollars um, I've also got here uh, the room is hard times tournament settings 45 second shot clock with a 15 second extension lag for break and jump clo uh, jump cues are allowed now this can all be edited to type in whatever you want um, if we look here we can see that uh, this is listed as group A so you can have more than one group of players so if you just wanted one league or if you wanted three smaller uh, groups you could have that um, and as in virtual pool 3 many years ago we actually had like I think three leagues or three groups and at the end of all the matches players were either um, advanced up a league or you got relegated down a league depending on where you finished so it could be like for example the bottom two players get relegated and the top two players from the second league go up and so on uh, if we look at this tab here this will show you all the matches during that uh, evening tournament now if you look at them it goes all the way down and I had to input all of those I had to input every single one of them just uh, to to get the tournament to play out if we look back here uh, at this tab here you've got uh, the info one which is I say the one where you put in all that stuff you've got a tab here for players to sign up now you can allow them to sign up if they on their own uh, using their virtual pool for name they just type in their name or you can manually input the, the the players now on there I just put in a whole list of names most of them made up and uh, those are the players that are appearing on that uh, list there if we look across here we actually have a chat window now if the players were logged into this to keep an eye on how the brackets doing and also to keep an eye on their next match um, they can actually chat in here just press test and then it will appear up on the uh, little chat window there um, and then if you go into the settings which is a more important one you can have it actually as participants for single player or you can have it set for teams um, you then have a, a, a little up and down arrow for the amount of groups so we only had the one group uh, which was that one but you can set it up or down um, you can then choose play each other once play each other twice and then you put in the points value so you get points for a win points for a draw it could have been points for a win three uh, points for a draw two and a loss and you get one point just for actually playing uh, that might be a better idea um, I don't uh, this multiplier thing um, it says all points given are multiplied by this number so you could put in um, you, if you put in two there that means that he ends up on 42 I don't know why it makes no difference he's still winning by the same margins um, you can have the sign up enabled so that players can sign up themselves if you don't want them to sign up themselves you uncheck the box um, and you can also allow the players to input their own results uh, on the bracket uh, maybe not a good idea because then uh, you as the tournament setter would have to go in and double check things um, if you want you set a password and set a deadline for the uh, tournament to finish you can actually add admins who will administer the bracket and input scores um, this here is a bit more for obviously people using it for other types of sport um, and other types of games you can enter a location etc um, put in your twitch channel name <coughs> or twitter 
um, and then make it public or make it private. Now, this is merely to offer players a bit more choice. The biggest drawback to it, and the biggest, the biggest thing that uh, maybe Steve and Virtual Pool Four would have against it is it takes players' focus away from the lobby and entering the standard tournaments, which are there to obviously create interest and to to keep the money rolling in and to keep the V dollars rolling backward and forward. Now, the fact that these matches are all uh, they all have to be played as um, a wager match means that money is still going backward and forward. The games are obviously going to be played in the Virtual Pool 4 lobby and um, it, uh, it, still, it still means revenues going backward and forward. You know, players will eventually need to top up their accounts. Um, there will be, I would assume, interest in Round Robin. Uh, it all hinges on players sticking with it to the end of the tournament um, and everybody's still got a chance of winning some money at some point even though you're going to lose some as well but it adds a wee bit more choice everybody gets to play matches it's not like a tournament where if it's a single elimination you've paid your money you're out in the first round end of story if it's double elimination you get two chances well the difference with round robin is you get el you get 11 chances you're going to play all of these guys once at some point and at the end of the night you'll have covered a few hours and um, it gives you a wee bit more choice in Virtual Pool 4. Now there's an idea that might not get used but it's out there and this website here, Bracket Cloud, this is all free, doesn't cost anything. Bracket Cloud gives you that option because I like it because it's actually numpty proof it's pretty good and pretty easy to follow and let's just see how this idea goes.